Page 12, problem number 57, reads, write the slope-intercept forms of the equation of the lines through the given point parallel to the given line and perpendicular to the given line. I'm going to underline these two words, parallel and perpendicular. We're actually asked to find two different things here, two different equations. Well, parallel, we know means same slope. Perpendicular means opposite reciprocal slope. So we know both parallel and perpendicular have to do with the slope of this line. So the first thing I'm going to want to do here is just rewrite this in slope-intercept form. To do that, I need to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. We'll do that here and here. And once I do that subtraction, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 2. That's going to give me y equals, after I subtract 4x and divide by negative 2, that will give me 2x. And the 3, when I divide that by negative 2, I'll get minus 3 halves. Actually, that y-intercept is not so important with this problem. What's really important is here, the slope. So we know our slope equals 2. So when I talk about a line parallel to that one, the slope will still be equal to 2. When I talk about a line perpendicular to that one, the slope will be equal to the opposite reciprocal. Well, 2 is like 2 over 1, so the opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 over 2. So let's just split our board into two sections here. First of all, this is where I'm going to work on the parallel problem. And over here on the right side, this is where I'll work on the perpendicular problem. So first of all, parallel. To be parallel, I know my slope has to be the same as that original slope. It has to be equal to 2. And I know I'm going to use the equation. I'm looking for this in slope-intercept form. So we'll say y equals mx plus b. Well, I know the slope. I can plug that right in here for m. What I need to find is b, the y-intercept. To find b, I can take these two values, x and y, plug them in place of x and y here. With that, I can solve for b. So let's do that. So instead of saying y equals, I'm going to say 1 equals. Instead of saying m times x, I'm going to say 2 times 2 plus b. So 1 equals 4 plus b, or b is equal to negative 3. Now careful, don't stop here. Our equation still needs to be in slope-intercept form. Well, I know the slope, I know the y-intercept, so I can say the equation is y equals 2x plus negative 3, or I can just say minus 3. So there's my equation in slope-intercept form that's parallel to that first given line and through the point 2, comma 1. Now I need the equation of a perpendicular line. Remember, in this case, my slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of the original slope. So opposite means change the sign. Reciprocal, reciprocal means flip your fraction. So now, let's follow the same procedure. I'm going to plug those. I'm going to plug negative 1 half in place of m. I'm going to plug these two values in place of x and y. So instead of saying y equals mx plus b, I'm going to say 1 equals negative 1 half times 2 plus b. Now, just like that problem on the left, I'm going to simplify, first of all, multiplying these two numbers together. The 2's can cancel out. That gives me 1 equals negative 1 plus b. Adding 1 to both sides, I get 2 equals b. So now, I know m, I know b. My equation of the line perpendicular to that original line is y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Now, just to make sure my answers are OK, I'm going to pull out my graph and calculator. I'll press my y equals key. Let's just type both these equations in here. y equals 2x minus 3. And y equals, let's put this fraction in parentheses, negative 1 half x plus 2. I'll press my graph button up here. And here comes the first line. Here comes the second line. You might ask yourself, well, they don't look perpendicular. Well, that's just because our screen is stretched. If I want to fix that, I can press my zoom key. The fifth choice is z squared. And if I do that, now they do look perpendicular. 
they both pass through the point, 2, 1. 1 is parallel to that original line, 1 is perpendicular to it.